A Minnesota law firm has filed a federal lawsuit connected to a huge listeria outbreak linked to deli meat. As Rich Chapman reports, a pregnant woman in the metro claims that it nearly caused her to lose her unborn child. It hasn't been a time in my 20 year career that I haven't had a listeria case in my office. Attorney Brendan Flaherty says many listeria cases fly under the radar, but this nationwide outbreak is drawing attention to the issue. Last week, Boar's Head expanded its recall to include 7 million more products of deli meats linked to the listeria outbreak. It includes more than 70 different products. Well, listeria is interesting because it can be in almost any type of food. It can be in vegetables. It can be in ice cream, it can be in caramel apples, and those are all cases that I've handled. In this case, his client Ashley Salberg from Coon Rapids was in Florida visiting her parents. They went to Publix to get some deli meats. She ate very little, but what she did eat turned out to be grossly contaminated. She didn't feel sick until 10 days later. When she just started feeling not right, and then that went to diarrheal illness, body aches, severe headache, and fever. And by that point, she knew something was really wrong and went to the emergency room. Flaherty believes the quick actions of doctors hospitalizing and treating her symptoms saved the life of her unborn child. Pregnant women can get the infection faster than others. They're 10 times more likely than an average person to develop a listeriosis infection. And when they do, the mother's health is at risk, but more disturbing, the, the fetus, an unborn child, uh, is at great risk. Listeria passes directly from the mother to the unborn child and causes fetal death and severe birth defects. Since the outbreak started in May, the CDC says three people have died and more than 40 people across 13 states got sick. They had to go to the hospital, including in Minnesota and Wisconsin. She wants accountability. Uh, she wants to bring attention to the issue of food safety. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. We reached out to Boar's Head for comment but have not heard back. But in a message posted on its website, the company said, no words can fully express our sympathies and the sincere and deep hurt we feel for the families who have suffered losses and others who endured illness.